What's up guys, welcome to the channel. My name is DJ Odyssey and on today's video, I'm gonna try and show you how to build melodies using FL Studio, especially using the piano roll and making sure that you stick to a certain scale and then you can actually make music fast from that, you know? So we're gonna go and find one of FL Studio's um, plugins. Let's say Citrus. And then, so we're just gonna add in anything, which is a plug or anything. I don't know, this is cool. Something else. I feel like this could be fine, right? So we're gonna take this and then go in the piano roll. Okay, number one, when you get in the piano roll, we're just gonna mess around. Let's say you have a melody or maybe a rhythm in your head that you know that most uh, melodies go like, but you don't know how to put it in the right scale or something. And then, so let's say we're just gonna put this in like this, right? And then, so I know some melodies Maybe it's something like this. Let's let's remove the snap. Uh, I just wanna. So if I play this, it's off key and everything, right? So you can now go to. This, right click on it and then choose the minor or whatever and then choose any scale that you want to be on right the root note of it uh, let's say let's say I want to be on G and then I'm gonna snap it and then I probably want to move this maybe the first note to G and so if you notice everything is getting snapped into the, the right scale so it stays on the gray notes so if I play this And then maybe one note that you don't like, that's the one that you can move, but it's gonna still stick in scale. So let me take it higher. Probably wanna take this. So now you are able to stick into a certain scale when you're making music. So I can do this and then Let's say I take this a little bit higher. You probably had this in most trap music when the song just does this and goes up a little bit, does that and goes up a little bit. And then that's the first thing that you can do when you don't really know how to put something into, into scale, right? And then something like this. Once it stays like this, maybe put some reverb on it, you know. And from here, you're able to do whatever that you wanna do, you know, um, let's say flags, we're just gonna find maybe a base that's gonna be there. We're just gonna go random, go to all, and then let's randomize this. We just find a base, randomize it. Anything is fine for now, you know? We're not doing much. So I can... That's not the type of bass I'm looking for. Uh, let's find something else. That's fine. I can just do this.
we have something like this. And then on top of this, maybe you want to add in something that's going to be maybe a pet. Let's go to flex again. And then we'll look for a pet. So we're just going to click on pet all and then randomize anything is fine for now. You're just going to copy the base, put it in here. And then you can grab this, put it there. And uh, you just add on top of this. You just jump one note, one gray note there. And then we we'll probably have something like this. Probably going to be loud. We're just doing this. We don't even know how these things sound like, you know? So let's. Well, in this case, you're already having like a nice rhythm into your music, you know? It doesn't matter what genre you're making. So for today, I'm just showing you what we can do. From listening to that melody, I could tell like, yeah, it sounds a little bit more trapish, so I can stick to more trap on this. And then just to confirm it, we just go to Loop Cloud Sounds and just gonna add like a nice loop. So I just went inside Loop Cloud and then I think I'm just gonna play this loop just to show you how you can make music with all this. So it's very simple how you can actually build melodies from this and after a melody you can actually make a beat out of this you know let's say now you have it like this right or you have a snap like this it's snapped and then you can actually change the melody how you want you know remember when you put any note now it sticks to a key right So the main thing that you notice is that you are able to actually stick to a certain scale and then you never get out of it, you know. So it's great to build melodies and chords, you know. So I hope this was helpful. I'll see you guys on my next tutorial. I love you guys so much. Peace. I'm out, man.